Hi, I'm Micah Winklespeck, the CEO and founder of GEM, and we're a blockchain infrastructure company, and we're bringing blockchain technology into the healthcare field. Uh, so uh, currently we're spending about $3.2 trillion on healthcare, and we're increasing that cost by about 5.6% every year. And yet our outcomes of the most expensive uh, costs are not really changing. You still have a one in five chance of returning to a hospital within 30 days after being discharged. And if we look at the cost structure of what we're spending money on, about 25% of that is considered pure waste. And the waste, if you look really closely at what's causing it, it's two things. So one is it's administrative costs of dealing with all of this massive amount of data. And it's not getting, a, it's a failure to get the appropriate data to the appropriate person at the right time so they can make informed, intelligent decisions and their decision improves. So I really believe that blockchains can serve as a function that can help solve that problem in the healthcare industry. So if you think about what a blockchain does, how many people are familiar with blockchains? Quick show of hands. Okay, great. So you know how hard this is to explain in five minutes. But essentially, a, a, a blockchain performs a few very important functions. So one is it's sort of like a global database for an entire industry. And we can use this to store shared common data that, we, that all parties need to access. And uh, it can act as essentially a global system of record for the entire industry. So that's one thing. Now, it's built on top of a foundation that has built-in integrity, data integrity, based on strong cryptography. And what this means is that where we would have normally used trusted intermediaries to marshal data back and forth, we can actually use the blockchain to remove those trusted intermediaries and middlemen. And so you get huge OPEX efficiency. And finally, it's a global computer. And so we can use the blockchain to essentially automate a lot of the logic associated with our data in ways that we were never able to do before, and that's super powerful. So uh, the, the blockchain is very new in healthcare, but actually we're, we're just now celebrating the eighth anniversary of blockchains. And it was invented uh, in the height of the financial crisis as, with the intent of essentially replacing the global financial system with a new form of digital cash. But what was really interesting about this was that rather than displacing the banks, the banks actually saw this as an opportunity to increase their own operational efficiencies with this technology. And so uh, Accenture just said uh, that about 90% of the largest banks are now actively developing with this technology. And IBM just recently uh, did a survey that said about 15% of banks expect to go to production by next year and 66% to production by 2020. And yet it has very little uh, use in the healthcare industry. And I'm gonna today talk to you about the three areas where I think it can make the highest impact value in the healthcare industry. So the first is patient-centric care coordination. We can leverage the blockchain to essentially create universal patient identifiers that aggregates data across multiple disparate IT systems towards one single global ID so that we can truly get the very first longitudinal health record for a patient without having to move the data to a central location. Um, and we did a project with Philips to demonstrate this. Um, the, second, the second area I think it could have a huge impact on OPEX is in the supply chain industry. So currently supply chain is the second largest expense for hospitals outside of personnel costs. And we can leverage the blockchain to essentially track the movement and provenance of the most valuable items that move throughout our, our systems. And we can build intelligent automated systems around that, that movement. Um, and, and so there's a lot of work that's being done in the supply chain industry and other industries and we can bring that to healthcare. And finally, the area that we're really working hard on right now is on the revenue cycle management side of things. And so we're doing a partnership with Capital One uh, to essentially leverage the blockchain as the coordination mechanism and tool to coordinate payments between providers, payers, and the underlying banks. And what this allows for us to do is to completely eliminate the need for data reconciliation across all these different parties. And that, that will essentially uh, save us massive, massive efficiencies. And so if you're really interested in learning more about blockchains, I will be around. Um, and it certainly warrants a much longer discussion. So thank you very much.